So I'm going to start with, with niche because it's just so fundamental. Your plan should involve you having a specific target that you go after and that your business is focused around. And it could be anything, right? It could be roofing companies. It could be AC companies. It could be plumbing companies like me. It could be healthcare organizations like Jimmy. It could be funeral homes like Alan. There's hundreds of niches. And what I found, even niches that I thought, that's a dumb niche. No one's ever going to grow in that niche can be effective because it's, it really depends upon you. It depends upon your communication style. It d- depends upon kind of the influence and circle of influence that you have. But I will tell you this, everybody wants to work with the expert in their type of business, right? If you get an opportunity with a roofing company and you're talking to that roofer and you've never worked with another roofing company before, he's not going to be too impressed. He's not going to be too excited by that. But if you're the guy that has case studies in the roofing industry, can put them in contact with like two or three other roofing uh, organizations, they're going to want to do business with you. Also, when you're in a niche, it's a lot easier to sell and close. You know, as we started getting better and better in the, um, in the plumbing space, instead of trying to convince somebody to do business with us, our, our social proof and our experience was just so great. Um, it, was, it, it was just so easy. We didn't have to convince the people to buy from us. And this is a business growth planning session, but the biggest benefit of being in a niche is that it's so much easier to fulfill and systematize. Let's say you're amazing at sales. You've got a little army of salespeople, and they're all out selling clients, but they're getting clients in different areas. The execution of that is so complicated, it will probably bring you to your knees and shut your business down because every industry is a little bit different. They need different stuff on their website. They need different keywords. They they have different strategies that work better. Facebook versus pay-per-click. Some mobile is where it's at. And so when you're in a niche and your business is structured around it, you can get the client. You can plug them into a pre-built system that's going to work and you can have an assembly line that cranks out really good work for your clients. And you can become really good at getting results because as you do more and more in the same space, you become better. Your team becomes better. Your knowledge becomes expanded. So again, choosing a niche is going to be the quickest and most efficient way to grow and scale, most importantly, scale your agency. I just want to share a quick example of this. Um, Good friend of mine, John Tate, uh, he runs a company today called Agency Marketing Machines. But about, I don't know how long, six years ago, seven years ago, he was a generalist agency. And he would sell to whoever he could get. Uh, he did a lot of mobile app development. He started to to dabble in, in local, you know, like local stuff. And I was meeting with him on a on a monthly basis. And you know, we're talking about my business versus his business. And you know, our business is growing. We're adding new clients. We're scaling. And he's just kind of he's just kind of stuck with no momentum in his in his company. And years passed like this. And finally. We were able to convince him, look, get into a niche, choose a niche. And he decided to do um, insurance agents. And again, not every niche that I think is going to be a win is, is always a win. I thought insurance, you know, those guys don't spend money. You know, they, they don't do a lot of advertising. I don't know about it. But he had, some, he had some strategic relationships. He put together his positioning. I can tell you his business just skyrocketed from like 2015 to, to today. And I can tell you he's a seven-figure agency. Uh, last number I got from him was 1.5 million. So this is the power of being in a niche, uh, the potential to go from stagnation to accelerated growth. And agency marketing machine, I just thought was a great example of that because I experienced it firsthand. I sat there in the in the frustration of you know just chasing little deals or chasing big deals that were one-time projects, getting clients all over the place with no scalability. But hopefully this opened your eyes to first of all the reason you need to be in a niche. And second of all, you know, the fact that it's really going to accelerate your growth when you get there. And I hope you all spend a little bit of time and commit to a niche. Well, I hope you get value from this session. If you'd like more ideas, strategies, and techniques on how to more effectively grow and scale your digital marketing agency, I'd like to invite you to go to sevenfigureagency.com. There you'll find a training series completely free of charge that walks you through how we were able to grow our agency 
from zero to over $300,000 per month uh, in less than seven years and how we're adding clients on a consistent basis. So we walk you through you know, the quickest way to position yourself as the expert in a particular market and proven models to get customers coming to you pre-positioned to buy. So if you got value from this and you would like more, you can go to sevenfigureagency.com. There's a free video series for you there. Just get there, you'll enter your name, your email address, and you'll get access in the next couple of minutes. So thanks for joining us. Go to sevenfigureagency.com now, and we'll talk to you soon.